Hello, welcome back to the Spare Time Shop. My name is Ruben and I've been working pretty hard the last couple of months to turn this old barn into my dream workshop. I already redid all the electrics, uh, refinished the second floor, poured a new concrete slab, did some painting, but there's still one thing that I've been putting off until now. I have to build a new staircase, because the old one is standing right there. So when I redid the second floor, I left this big opening. And up until now, I always had to use the ladder to go upstairs. And I already fell from it once, so now I have to get something more sturdy, durable and permanent. Like a big staircase. I already framed out the opening when I redid the first floor in a previous video. But that was a long time ago, so I took all the measurements again and put them into CAD. I drew this staircase in three big parts. Now the middle part is pretty straightforward piece and will be installed as last. I first need to install the other two pieces which are basically these two square platforms with two or three extra steps. The staircase has to make two turns for me not to hit my head against the ceiling and I thought that adding these two landings would be much easier than making the whole staircase spiral. I printed out all the plans for the separate pieces, so now let's start with the bottom part. I've bought a whole bunch of these long boards and I'm planning on making the entire staircase just with these. They're about 35mm thick and 28cm wide, which is perfect for threads. I'm cutting the stringers first. Now these are the diagonal pieces that will hold the threads together. I didn't really know much about staircase designing, so my process was basically looking at a lot of pictures of construction sites to see how the connections were made. Uh, you'll see me cut a lot of weird triangle shapes for the sides of the threads, and the reasoning for each piece is to transfer the load as much as possible onto the piece below. Now that sounds really simple in theory, but that's the only rule I followed while designing and installing these stairs. I made it very easy on myself by designing the stairs on a 45 degree angle, which makes cutting and laying out all the pieces much simpler. I also made some jigs to mark and pre-drill the holes for the screws of the threads. Since they're all exactly the same angle and distance, this will save some time measuring it all out. I also made a jig for routing out a groove in the stringers. And the threads will nest into this groove, carrying the load to the sides and making the stairs a lot stronger. Building out this platform is pretty straightforward. I'm adding some straight pieces onto the 45 angled stringers and connecting them with recessed wood screws and a lot of wood glue. With the two side pieces ready, I cut the threads and pre-drilled the holes for the screws using yet another jig. Now time to assemble all the pieces for the first part of the staircase. Don't 
I'm further building out the box for the platform and adding some more support pieces. With the base of the first part ready, I'm putting it into place and checking if it's level. Ah, perfect. Now I can anchor it into the wall by drilling holes and using these big wall plugs and anchor bolts. And with the base in place, I can take measurements for the boards to finish up the platform. Let's test it out. Yeah, you can see it's not moving at all, and luckily I have just enough headroom left to go underneath the beams on the first floor. And that's the first part all done. Now let's build the top piece next. I'm starting out the same way as before, by preparing the stringers, cutting, pre-drilling and routing out two mirrored pieces. And with the threads cut and pre-drilled, I can start to assemble. Again, using a lot of wood glue. The top thread will sit flush with the first floor. So I added another cross support piece for extra strength and because I'll need somewhere to screw the stairs onto the first floor. But you'll see what I mean in just a minute. For the platform of the top part I started with framing out a square and added a cross support piece. I then screw down some boards onto the top and spacing them out evenly. And attach the platform to the steps made earlier. I did have to make some adjustments to better fit the pieces together, but it all worked out.
Now I had some trouble getting this part up there, so the very next day I called my brother and with an extra helping hand it was quick work. So thanks bro! Now you'll see me nudging it into place and checking for level. And once everything is okay, I'll drill some holes into the wall for the anchor bolts. And because this is a floating piece, I used even bigger bolts. And these go into the wall without the need for a plug. They get fixed by tightening the bolt. And boy are these strong. I'm screwing in the last thread onto the first floor and this thing is not going anywhere. Super sturdy and still looks like it's floating. I like it. And again, just enough room for me to walk underneath it. Now the second part is done, on to the middle piece. Alright, so I've just cut this side piece to the theoretical length, uh, so let's see if it fits. I don't think it will, but you never know. It doesn't fit. Ah, Alright. Back to the drawing boards and let's try again. Uh, so it turns out the distance between the first and the last piece is slightly shorter than uh, on the plans. Don't know quite what happens, but it did. So we have to um, make new plans. I tried several times to cut this down to length and I think I finally got it right. So, let's see. Nice. So now that we got the right length, let's make a mirrored copy and then we can fill in the steps. And by now, I'm sure you know the steps. I'm marking and pre-drilling holes for the screws and routing out the threads. I'm also already preparing the holes for the anchor bolts. It's easier to do this while the threads are not yet in the way. A time to assemble the last part.
I'm putting the middle piece in place and this time it fits. <laughs> and uh, I'm bolting it onto the wall. I'm drilling some recessed holes for the screws to connect the middle part to the first platform. Uh, and the way I cut these V-shapes on all the stringers allows the weight from the staircase to rest on the base part. And with the top also screwed onto the middle, the whole staircase is now assembled. It's time for a quick test run. Pretty much no movement at all. Nice. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. The structure is just really sturdy. Uh, the next thing I need to do is put on a clear coat of varnish just to protect the top surfaces. I sanded down the whole staircase and rounded over all the edges before putting on the varnish. And to finish it off, some friends were renovating their house and wanted to throw away this old railing, so I cut it to size and installed it on the top of my staircase. For safety reasons, of course. Just as all other construction sites, I too got a visit from the safety inspector. He was thorough, but in the end I received a good review. And Mr. Inspector, any notes? Thanks for watching another video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!